Hey, qué tranza pandilla, bienvenidos a Vans Channel 666. ¿Cómo ve nuestro nuevo intro, cortesía del maestro Rata Rodríguez? Una joya, una joya, muchísimas gracias. El día de hoy vamos a tener varios invitados especiales, va a estar con nosotros el maestro Rodrigo Jardón, va a estar hablándonos de esta de este link que existe entre la música, el periodismo, la fotografía y el documental, así que va a estar bastante interesante. En vivo va a estar partícula amplificada y vamos a tener al famosísimo The Creep, este, uno de los artistas gráficos más locochones desde North Carolina, así que vamos a arrancar una vez, a ver si por ahí está nuestro invitado, aquí presumiendo los libros, vamos a ver si está por ahí eh, The Creep, a, a ver si anda por estos, por estos lados, bueno, voy a dar, decirles el nombre completo, The Creep from the Six Feet Deep, thank you so much, hello, hello. Yeah, how's it going, man? Yeah, thanks oh, for having me on. Oh, wait a second, I, I, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Um, Oh, damn. Technology, technology. Can you hear me? Right. Oh, yeah, I, actually, I can hear you pretty good. <laughs> well, I'm going, to, I'm going to start to ask, and I hope in some point the staff of, of, of bands can help me with the audio. But the first question for you is, how do you get involved uh, in the world of, of art? Um. So i've been professionally doing art i would say for a little over a decade now i'm actually uh, a tattooer um oh. here in north carolina so that's my my day job um and then just aside from that the uh the stuff that you found me for um the illustration stuff i started doing that um maybe about a year ago it was something wow. that a friend suggested to kind of uh maybe put my other like work that I would do on the side out there. And so I made a different page just to see what would happen. And well, so far it's been really good, man. I've had a great response amazing. so far on all I, the... I hope, I hope uh, we can share with you some pictures of your work because it's insane. It's just amazing. I, oh, thank you. I, yeah. I hope, I hope. Well, uh, the, the next question for you is tell us why you decide to combine the world of horror movies with metal to create these pieces of art, amazing pieces, pieces of art. Sure. Yeah. I mean, you know, both have kind of been, um, I mean, both have kind of been a big part of my life for a long time. Um, you know, I've, I was lucky enough to have a childhood where I wasn't restricted to horror movies. So, yeah. you know, I got to watch them as a kid and fell in love. Um, so, you know, I think at a pretty young age, I started drawing kind of creepy stuff yeah. and, uh, and, and yeah, just found metal like uh you know any kid kind of does i hit my teenage years and started skateboarding and then you know kind of found heavier music throughout my teens and uh yeah just ever since then both genres have kind of been a big inspiration so you know it's kind of it's, it's nice to be able to do some work now and kind of give back to both of those that's amazing okay can you tell us about your about the techniques that you use to create these amazing pieces of art i'll just give me a second i'm going to say this in spanish Uh, ¿Podrían ponernos sure. la, las, las fotos ahora en pantalla para que nuestra audiencia pueda ver el trabajo y podamos hablar un poco más sobre justamente las técnicas que usa para crear? So, yeah, let's continue, sorry. <laughs> yeah, um, so, primarily I would say I, I stick with pen and ink. Um, so, a lot of times, uh, most of the stuff that I post will be in black and white. Um, I do those just pen and ink on paper, um, you know, black and white ink. Um, I'm actually working on something here currently, though, that's on a uh, clay board. So it's a little different. Um, I get to kind of um, lay down ink like I normally would on paper, but I can also scratch away ink as well. So it's it's pretty it's pretty cool. I'm liking it so far. Um, but yeah, yeah, mostly pen and ink stuff. And there's some acrylic painting as well when I get the chance to kind of dip into a wow. painting. Wow, that's amazing. So, so talking about horror movies, tell us about your favorite horror movies. I'm a, I'm a nerd, you know, I'm, I'm more like in 70 movies, you know, like a Satan and witchcraft, yeah. like that. But tell us oh, about yeah, your favorite yeah. movies. Yeah, the 70s had some great flicks, man, uh, especially for, you know, that kind of like satanic, you know, occult yeah. genre. Um, I would say if I had to pick my favorite horror movie, uh, it would probably be Creepshow from Whoa. 1982, I believe it came out. Um, and, and that one, the, the reason I would say is because, well, I mean, there's a lot of reasons I love that movie, but I mean, it's a good combo of horror movies meets like comic books, which is yeah. also another big inspiration for me as far as like my art goes. So actually, um, 
talking about that movie. I'm working on a commission right now Whoa. for the movie Creep Show for Whoa. like a you know a private collector, so it should be pretty fun. That's awesome. Uh, did, yeah. Did you, did you see the the new TV show, the Creep Show, the new TV series? I did. Yeah, yeah. Actually, we kept up with it. Um, it it wasn't bad at all. You know, I mean, yeah. I, I think the movies always kind of hold the top spot for me, but the show actually had some really good uh, episodes on it. Yeah, really, really good. Yeah, man. Uh, I mean, yeah. T talking about movies, probably one of my faves is The Exorcist. Maybe Alucarda is from Mexico. Yes. Is one of my faves, uh, and also Suspiria yes. from Argento. So I, 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 is I, great. I really, I yeah, I really love that you combine this world of metal and horror movies. It's really amazing. And talking about music, tell us about your favorite bands. Oh man. Um. Well, I guess if we if we had to go back to probably the first, I would say more maybe like heavy death metal band I kind of got introduced to, it would be Cannibal Corpse. Whoa. Um that was kind of uh I would say that was kind of like let's see, I was in middle school and I would say at the time I was probably listening to a lot more like uh like eighties Metallica, that type yeah. of stuff, you know. Um And then yeah, I remember having a friend that was like, dude, you got to listen to this band. It's the craziest stuff I've ever heard. So, you know, I checked it out and instantly fell in love. So, you know, that would be, I would say they were kind of my springboard into, you know, the world of metal. But man, there's there's a lot of good bands out there. Um, it's harder to, I, I would say it's a little harder for me to pick a favorite metal band well, probably maybe like it your, is a horror movie, but, um, or 10 maybe favorite movie, favorite movie, favorite band, sorry. <laughs> well, uh, you know, here recently, um, there was an album that came out from, uh, from the guys, uh, Suffering Hour. I don't know yeah. if you're familiar. Yeah. So their, their newest album, The Cyclic Reckoning was, I, I think probably one of my favorite ones from last year, if I had to pick one, that one, I wouldn't say it was like the heaviest album of the year, but it definitely was super catchy. You know, that guitar work was like very unique. So I, I found that one kind of getting stuck in my head a lot more. So, That's yeah. Awesome. Yeah, but basically in this show, we are more focused on heavy sounds like Stoner, Doom, Sludge, that kind of dark sound. Yeah. Actually, in some, I, I saw uh, um, um, this uh, link between you and A Perfect Monster, you know, John Basley from Baroness. So, so can you tell us yeah, yeah, about yeah, that? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 John's great, man. Uh, he was somebody that, um, so I've never, you know, I've never gotten to, to meet him or anything yet, but, um, but yeah, as far as like work goes, I, I found his work probably early high school. Wow. Um, you know, like I think even, I think even before I realized that he was actually in Baroness, I had started seeing his work and, you know, I was really drawn to it because it, it has a, It has like a puss head feel to it, but it also has a little bit more of that like Alphonse Mucha, you know, Art Nouveau style too, which both like really, you know, click for me. Um, but yeah, it, it's it's really neat, you know, like kind of fast forwarding, you know, from high school into my 30s now, you know, having somebody like John just kind of randomly find me on Instagram and, you know, wow. seem to enjoy the work I'm doing. It, it's pretty cool, you know. It's amazing. <laughs> so, it's amazing. Yeah, yeah, his work is rad. <laughs> Talking about the graphic designers, can, can you tell us about your favorite uh, graphic designers? For example, mine is Skinner, probably is one of my favorite right now. Who did, who did you say? Uh, Good Machine, for example, and Skinner too are one, two of my favorite. Oh, yeah, artists. yeah, yeah. But tell us about yeah, yours. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, like mentioning skinner uh, he's he's been another one that i've had the pleasure of talking with you know wow. a good bit here on instagram and uh man he's just he's just so funny he's such a like just his energy that he puts off along with his art make his page like well worth following so yeah yeah he's he's definitely up there um i had just recently got the uh the skin crawl comic that he put out not too long ago and that one's really fun um So yeah, yeah, I, I would say he's definitely up there. I mean, there's there's a lot of shoot really great artists on on there. You know, I follow quite a few people that do everything from you know like digital work and graphic yeah. design to you know maybe more traditional mediums like pen and ink or paint and stuff. So yeah, it's just it's just uh, there's just so many <laughs> to be inspired by on there. Yeah. Can, can But yeah, share, yeah, can, Skinner's can you share great. With us some names maybe uh, that would be amazing. Oh, sure. Yeah. Um, I mean, as far as uh, like other illustrators go that I talk to pretty regularly, um, 
you know, uh, every now and then I get to talk with uh, Mark Riddick. Uh, I'm sure plenty of people know who Mark is. Uh, okay. Skinner's another one. Um, uh, there's a guy named Saul Blade. It goes by Saul Blade uh, okay. on his Instagram. His work is like super cool. He was he was one of the first that I think actually reached out to me whenever I started making this page. Um, and just, you know, I guess he just found my work and then we've kind of, you know, been pretty tight ever since, you know, we check in with each other a lot and talk a lot about art. Um, uh, there's another guy, uh, uh, Jota Cravo. Um, mm -hmm. He's another uh, really good dude. Uh, I know he, he's done a lot of work for metal bands and stuff, and I think he's pretty uh, tight with the Night Shift uh, merch crew. So, yeah, yeah, the, those guys specifically are, you know, great dudes. Um, let's see. Uh uh, Putrid is another guy. I don't know if you mm -hmm. keep up with Putrid's art, but yeah, he's he's great too, man. He's another one of those guys that'll just have you like fucking rolling with laughter because he's just so <laughs> he's yeah. wild. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, the art totally matches him too, though. You know, he's another big horror movie guy, and uh, and yeah, his his art's definitely you know a good mix of horror meets comic book style. So, yeah. but yeah, yeah, those those guys are all like are pretty regular inspirations i would say these days for me really good names i think this is my personal opinion we are living like at the golden era for graphic arts i think you, we have a lot for of sure. artists around the world we have these uh silk screen posters also comics books yes uh, you know it's it's amazing and in these shows we want to create this link between music a heavy music and the graphic arts so for me you are you are like a like, like the link, you know, between these two worlds, uh, because I'm a nerd, uh, like like you. <laughs> I really love yeah, movies, yeah. music, heavy stuff. So for uh, me, art is very, totally. it's very amazing and it's very special. So before well, you. To, yeah. to, to start the, the interview, I saw your room. I saw some cool stuff in your yeah. room. So can you share yeah. your room with us if it's possible, of course? Sure. Yeah, yeah. There's, um, yeah, so behind, behind me, let's see, uh, I've got a couple, uh, posters, like wow. big posters hanging up from, uh, Ghana, it's a couple of horror movie posters over here. And then you were mentioning the exorcist. Yeah. I have, uh, yeah, I have the Reagan bust back here. Um, yeah, there's the zombie from, uh, Fulci's zombie over here. Yes. Um, yeah, you got, uh, Jason, uh, from the final chapter over yeah. here. Yeah. I just. You know, it's it's definitely a, a room that I've been wanting to kind of have for a long time, you know, uh, and finally have the means to put it all together yes. with <laughs> collecting masks kind of and posters. It's my kind of room because I really love the effects, special effects. I mean, I'm a big fan of Tom Savini, yes. for example, Eric Baker. Yeah. So it's really amazing that you totally. combine both worlds. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I feel like, uh, you know, before I got into tattooing, uh, I'd kind of hit a little point uh, where I, was, I wasn't really sure where I wanted to go, uh, you know, as far as a direction in life. I'd kind of, uh, I'd tried college, but, so, you know, dropped out. It just wasn't doing it for me. And uh, I, had, I had tossed around the idea of maybe going to school for special effects, but I ended up catching an apprenticeship here in the city that we live in before that ever happened. And, you know, tattooing, I mean, really took off, you know, in a, in a good way. So, you know, I, I kind of never looked back from that, but yeah, yeah. The special effects and like people that make masks and things like that are just, yeah. you know, other, you know, huge inspirations. I mean, you know, it's like the 3d form of what I like to draw. So, <laughs> yeah, oh, so we talk about commissions, but I want, I don't know if you, if you work with any, some metal bands, I don't know if you design some cover art, something like that. I, I'm not sure. So can you tell us a little bit about this? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so I, I do uh, mo mostly commissions. Yeah. Um, I haven't had a huge amount of like metal, um, like uh, album covers or anything like that. Yeah. Hopefully, you know, that'll change as time goes on. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah. So my first album cover that I ever did um, is for a very nice um, group of people. They're in kind of a, a stoner uh, kind of doom band uh, called the Crystal Spiders. And they're out here from North Carolina. And so uh, Brenna that does the vocals and plays bass for them, uh, she met me through tattooing. So I, I'd done some tattoo work for her and then she asked me if I wanted to uh, make any uh, album art, if I'd ever done that. And I hadn't at that point. So they were my first jumping off point for, uh, 
for artwork as far as like album covers go Mm -hmm. and i got to do their uh first and second record um and then as far as that goes i i haven't really done any other album art other than um i've done a couple of artwork for some compilation cds for like a uh uh like a zine metal zine um so but yeah yeah as far as like bands and stuff goes i still every now and then i'll get some t-shirt work um but nothing nothing super crazy hopefully soon hopefully soon that's what yeah yeah hopefully so (laughs) yeah yeah and well uh the next question for you is what's next in your career i mean your artwork is amazing you are doing something very special i really love it so when i when i was uh surfing on on instagram and i found your profile it's like oh man this is awesome this is insane yeah so (laughs) so i I need to bring this guy to the show Awesome. Yeah. Well, again, I I definitely appreciate it. And so, but but tell um, us about what what's next for you as an artist, as a two yeah. artist, as a graphic designer too. Yeah. Um. I mean, you know, with tattooing, uh, I've been at it for let's see. I guess this year would be twelve years. Um. And at, at this point, you know, that's been pretty busy for me the last few years. So I'm I'm really happy with the direction that's going. Mm. Um I mean honestly with that I would just hope that it kind of, you know, maintains, you know, where it's going right now with just staying pretty steady with work and uh you know, just getting to do more work that I prefer to do, you know. Um but yeah, as far as like an illustrator goes, uh yeah, it, it's all pretty new on that side. So I think from here I would love to get more uh, more bands, um, you know, more album art. I think that would be great. Um, I, w- I would really love to do uh, either a comic book or some kind of book illustration mm-hmm. at some point. I think that would be really cool. Yeah, um, right now, finding the time to squeeze that in with being a busy tattooer is really hard. So the best I've been able to do is a couple of like covers for yeah. comic books. But, you know, maybe maybe one day I'll get to do like a whole book. That would be rad. Um, I also, you know, speaking of, you know, like bands and just skateboarding in general, I, I would love to have a skateboard client wow. as well. Um, I, I've never, I've never been able to like design a deck or, you know, anything like that. And yeah. skateboarding was a big thing for me in like middle school and high school, you know? So I've always kept a love for it, even though I don't do it anymore, just given my career path. But, uh, but yeah, I, I would love to do some work in skating too. I think that'd be awesome. That would be amazing. Let, let's talk about this. Maybe you can do something for bands. That would be insane. Oh yeah. That, that would be killer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. And, and well, tell us about your social media. If a band want to contact to you and maybe work together. So what, sure. where is the place? Um, so, so yeah, so I go by the creep from six feet deep on Instagram. Um, just there, you're welcome to send me a direct message. Uh, yeah. I check them pretty often. So I, you know, um, yeah, I, I should stay pretty up to date on that. And I have a commission list. So as long as, uh, you know, we click on ideas and everybody seems pretty stoked about it. Uh, yeah, I just add everybody to my list and we get the, you know, get the ball rolling. Yeah, so. that, that's amazing. Well, thank you so much for, for staying with us this day. It's uh, yeah, really thank amazing, you. man. I really love your work. I'm a big fan. And uh, Appreciate let, me t- it. let me tell you this. A lot of my friends are fans of your work. Uh, another graphic yes. designer. So you have a lot of, of fans or followers here in Mexico. Very cool. Now that's that's great. Yeah. No, I, I really appreciate it. Um, yeah. Thanks again for having me on the show, man. Uh, yeah. And hopefully we can keep in touch and make yeah. some more stuff happen in the future. Definitely. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> See ya. See you. Eso 